Welcome to this special guided meditation episode. I'm Marta Hamilton, your host of the Tell a Wellness Hub podcast, and I created this special holiday edition episode designed to cultivate peace and joy, especially during the holiday season. It's just a little inside glimpse into something that maybe I might practice with my clients in session. For those who are interested in exploring guided meditations, I thought I would share with everyone in case you want to participate and join and try it out. You might try it and say you love it and you want more guided meditations, or you might try it out and say, uh, this is not really for you. And that's okay too. Before we begin, please find a quiet and comfortable space where you can safely relax. Um, this meditation involves some relaxation. So I want to emphasize, do not practice this while driving. This is one of those podcast episodes. I do not recommend to listening to while you're driving or engaging in any activity that requires your full attention. Um, Before I dive in, I'm going to talk about the research-backed benefits of guided meditation. You know, I think before really diving into the research aspects of meditation, I was a little hesitant. Um, I really like uh, research. Uh, My background is in clinical health psychology. I got my master's in that. And so I love, love, love diving into the research behind uh, the practices that exist in the holistic wellness space. And now that we actually have the science and technology to research these things that have been existing for or practices that have been existing for, for, for some, I mean, thousands, hundreds of years, um, just wisdom, but also new practices. We now have the ability to have the tools to measure the positive effects on the body. So I love looking at the research and seeing, okay, what techniques are beneficial? One, which ones like maybe aren't as credible, but um, I can, I can assure you that when it comes to guided meditation, um, there are a lot of studies specifically in the field of psycho neuroimmunology. I know it's a mouthful, but it's one of my favorite topic topics, psycho neuroimmunology. It's the field exploring the connections between the mind, the nervous system, and the immune system. And in this field, there are many studies that show that guided meditation has shown remarkable effects on our well-being. And so first, I want to talk a little bit about that. And um, in case you've been thinking about trying guided meditation, but maybe think, okay, this is like a little bit too out there for me. I don't know if I'm good at it or, you know, I hear a lot of different kind of reactions and those are all valid. I thought I would share in case if, if, if you're maybe more intellectual or science minded or like to know the data behind something, this might motivate you to give it a try. Um, so one of the many benefits is in regards to our immune system, specifically in immunoglobulins, there's something called IgA, immunoglobulin A. You might see it in like blood lab work. Um, sometimes it shows up. Basically, it's like a superhero protein in your body that helps fight off germs, especially at places like your nose and your mouth. And uh, some studies suggest that when people do mindfulness meditations, kind of like a mental exercise, it might actually boost their IgA levels. Basically, think of immunoglobulin A as your immune system's defender, and meditation might make it even better at protecting you, especially, you know, when we talked about those germs around your nose and your mouth, those come up a lot during this season. In terms of the benefits for the brain and the body, um, we know that it especially helps the hippocampus, the amygdala, and the prefrontal cortex. So basically, the hippocampus is like your brain's memory manager. It helps you remember things and learn new stuff. So the research shows that doing mindfulness meditation can make this memory manager in your brain stronger. So basically, like we've also known that stress can actually reduce reduce the size of your hippocampus. So that's why like if you're really stressed, you think about like test anxiety and you just draw a blank and you say, oh my gosh, I studied this for so long and how do I not remember any of it? It could it could have something to do with this, the effects of stress on our hippocampus. So the hippocampus is your brain's memory helper and meditation might give a, a little workout to basically help it out, keep it fit and help you remember The amygdala is like your brain's emotion control center. It helps you deal with feelings, especially stress and fear. Actually, it's it's really a big part of the flight or fight response, Um, but that could be a different episode. And the research shows that meditation 
seems to have a calming effect on this emotion control center. It can make it less jumpy, for example, in in response to strong emotions. It can reduce the intensity and the frequency of our flight or fight. Like, you know, if you feel like, you know, sweaty hands, flushing face, heart racing, um, it can really help with that. So the amygdala is your brain's mood regulator and meditation basically might help it stay cool in stressful times. Prefrontal cortex this is one of my favorite parts of the brain. <laughs> um, and that's when you know you're maybe a nerd because this is my favorite part of the brain. And basically, it's like the boss of your brain. It's the executive control center. It helps you make decisions. It controls your emotions and helps you stay focused. Research shows that meditation might be like a workout for this brain boss, making it stronger and more capable and even directing more um, wavelengths and blood flow to that area. So the prefrontal cortex is your brain's decision maker and meditation could be really helpful for it. Um, And another thing also related to the brain, cortisol levels and your heart rate variability. So cortisol is a hormone that shows up when you're stressed. Too much of it can be a lot for your body. You might see it be linked to everything from higher likelihood of of, um, increased symptoms of anxiety and depression to um, increased likelihood of getting sick to increased weight gain. And research shows that meditation might be essentially like a chill pill for your body, bringing down the level of cortisol when you're feeling stressed. Cortisol is the stress hormone and meditation might help keep it at a calm level. And lastly, there's heart rate variability. It's it's basically like your body's rhythm. When it's steady, your body is happy and relaxed. So meditation can help keep this rhythm steady, making your body more relaxed. It's a way to kind of, I guess, where, where your thoughts go, your body can follow. And so basically by meditation helps it keep it headed in the direction that you'd like to go steady and calm. So understanding how meditation can basically be like a superhero training for your immune system and a workout for your brain can make staying healthy and trying out guided meditations a bit more fun for a lot of people. So but just wanted to give a little bit of that background before we dive into this guided meditation that I developed for the holidays for facilitating and cultivating peace and joy. Before we begin, a gentle reminder to please um, find a quiet and comfortable space if you can, where you can safely relax because it does involve deep relaxation. I do want to emphasize you do not want to practice this while driving or engaging in any activity that requires your full attention. But if you'd like, you can begin by if you're in a place where you can lie down on your back, you can do that. If you'd prefer, you can sit in a chair with your arms relaxed, your feet uncrossed, and just being comfortable if that's best for you, with your arms resting comfortably by your sides, palms facing up perhaps, or even face down on your lap if you're sitting. If you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes gently. If you do not feel comfortable closing your eyes, you can just let them rest with a soft gaze, releasing releasing the usual tension that we have around our eyelids just allowing any feelings of warmth or comfort to surround you. First, take a deep breath in through your nose, filling your lungs. Exhale through your mouth. Release any tension. Again, take a deep breath in through your nose, maybe this time noticing the temperature of your inhale, of your breath as you inhale. And exhale through the mouth of the nose, releasing any tension, noticing the temperature when you exhale. Maybe it's cool as you inhale, feeling the warmth as you exhale. Noticing that by paying attention to this, you're practicing mindfulness, which is paying attention to something on purpose. Not placing any judgment, just noticing what is. Continue to breathe paying attention to your beautiful breath that is always with you and let go of the day's concerns and bring your awareness to this present moment. 
as you continue to shift your focus to the sensation of your breath, just notice the natural rhythm, the inhaling and the exhaling. And as you breathe, allow yourself to imagine inhaling peace and exhaling any stress. For some, it might help to visualize a soft golden light above you that you inhale, radiating warmth and tranquility. And with each breath, invite this light to just descend over the crown of your head, over your face, your neck, your forehead, just being in this soft, soothing glow. Feel this light around your forehead, releasing any tension, seeing if you can release and relax between your eyebrows. Maybe if you have them usually tight, let it flow down to your eyelids. See if you can even feel the muscles around your eyes relax, relaxing the muscles around your eyes, your eyelids, maybe even allowing this warmth to soften your cheeks, your jaw, This is a form of progressive muscle relaxation. We're just guided into each purposefully releasing and relaxing on purpose from the crown of our head to our toes. I'd like you to maybe even see if you can relax your tongue. If you notice you have it tensely on the roof of your mouth, sense the light moving down your neck and shoulders. If you need to, you can shrug your shoulders up and relax, melt away any tightness or stress. Feel this relaxation embracing around your chest, bringing a sense of openness and ease to your heart. And as the light continues its descent, let it cascade down your arms all the way to your elbow, your fingertips, Maybe even feeling like each single single fingernail is relaxed. Just feel a gentle wave of relaxation moving through your spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Experience the warmth around your stomach. Releasing any knots or discomfort. Letting it flow down to your hips. Your thighs your knees, soften every muscle it touches. Imagine the light streaming down your legs, reaching your ankles. Maybe you need to move them around a little bit, your toes, wiggle them, and then just find the stillness. See if you can feel the relaxation. Feel a profound sense of calm spreading through your entire body. As if you're just cradled in a cocoon of serenity and in this state of deep relaxation, focus on the theme of peace. It may help to picture a serene landscape, a place that brings you tranquility. Maybe it's a beach or your backyard or a forest or a park down the road, maybe a mountain. Allow the details to unfold, the colors, the sounds, the sensations, Sense the peace surrounding you, sinking into your very essence. With each breath, absorb this peace, letting it fill every cell of your being. Now shift your focus to the theme of joy and visualize moments of joy in your life. Simple, heartfelt, full of warmth. Feel the energy of joy bubbling up within you, creating a sense of lightness and positivity. And as you bask in the glow of peace and joy, know that you carry this tranquil energy with you. Take a few moments of silence, noticing your breath again. The coolness of the inhale, the warmth of the exhale, maybe even noticing if one nostril inhales more breath or exhales more breath. Just noticing, out of curiosity, noticing this moment that you took to intentionally relax. In a world of to-do lists with tasks upon tasks to feel accomplished, notice the sense of accomplishment by just allowing yourself the opportunity to relax. Knowing that you can always repeat this. And as you bask in the glow of peace and joy, know that you carry this tranquil energy within you. And when you're ready, 
to return. Bring your awareness back to your breath. More deeply inhaling. More deeply in ex- exhaling. Feeling the rejuvenating power of each breath. Gently w- wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe stretch your body. Move your neck. Flutter your eyelids open when you're ready. And may the peace and joy cultivated in this practice accompany you throughout the holiday season. Thank you for joining this guided meditation. Amidst the festive hustle, remember that taking care of yourself is not only a gift to you, but also to those around you. And it's a ripple effect of well-being that spreads joy. I thank you for trying out this guided meditation. It's just a little tiny glimpse. I try to combine a little bit of body work, breath work, and visualization that's common in meditation. Maybe there's elements of it that you really liked, so you can explore that more. Maybe it's not for you, and that's okay, but you know, thank yourself for practicing mindfulness meditation and trying something new for yourself and taking that time away for, for just some quiet and some breath work and intentional, intentional self-care. And I'm just going to encourage you to, to know that there are tools that have a lot of research, not just theories, but there are actionable steps that you can incorporate into your daily life. I just encourage you to make time, um, to make this holiday season a time of joy and self-care if possible. And Find moments to savor, appreciate the simple pleasures, and prioritize your well-being. You deserve a holiday season filled not just with external festivities, but also internal peace and tranquility. And if you're struggling to find that, even with different tools and resources, you're not alone. There is a science also behind therapy and the reasons why talk therapy works. So I'm going to encourage you to reach out to a therapist. 